were added to the medium, allowing the clinicians to discern which bacteria can destroy blood, the medium is considered A, selective, enriched, non-enriched, differential, or a combination thereof. Sorry. So, uh, it's, is it red sheep blood cell? Is it enriched, selective, non-living, non differential, or a combination of the three? Is it A and B? A and B. A and D. Mm. It's oh, enriched, yeah. added blood, and it's differential. It allows you to tell whether or not the organism can destroy it. So B, B and D? B and, B and D. It's B and D. Here it's listed as D and B. It's A, C. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> you know I like to have things different. Right? Sterilization of bacteria of bacteria may be accomplished by the following process, except pasteurization, moist heat, filtration using a 0.22 micron filter, radiation, or ethylene oxide gas permutation. Pasteurization. That is correct. Pasteurization is a sanitizing method. It does not kill Give everything. Us Oh. <laughs> it was A. Oh no! I was say that. A microorganism that grows optimally in our body is termed mesophile, thermophile, temperature tolerant, sacrophile, or none of the above. Spencer. I'm going to say B. 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 Not B. Mesophile. Mesophile. That's A. Grows at middle temperatures. Yeah. Detergent with a 10 minute contact time kills microorganisms by breaking down the peptidoglycan, solubilizing the plasma membrane, inhibiting protein synthesis, blocking the replication of DNA, or inhibiting exoenzymes. Which one? Is it A? C? Not A. C? B. It solubilizes plasma membrane. Yeah. Okay. Which of the following is describes flash pasteurization? Heating at 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, Heating 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Heating 72 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Heating at 134 Celsius for one second. Or passing liquid through steam at 140 degrees Celsius. B. B is correct. See, this is gonna be easy. Oh, come on, stop. Let's just go on. <laughs> AUG codon functions in coding for the amino acid methionine and as termination signal, start signal, wobble codon, Marker for introns, recognition set of RNA polymerase. B. Start signal. B. Start signal. B. All right, now I did some, mold, I did some, uh, you know, fill in the blank. Yes. Right. Oh, my glasses were just falling off my head. If you know the exact ingredient of a medium, the medium is termed a? Definitive. Defined. defined. Chemically defined. You can't yeah. just say definitive, you have to okay. say chemically defined. defined. So when you can't say just defined, it's clinically defined. Clinically. Chemically defined. Oh, chem oh sorry. Chemically. Chemically, oh. chemically defined. Defined. Mm -hmm. Chemically defined. A gen in general, A, something, is a sanitizer that is toxic and should not be used on the skin or mucous membranes of the body. Fabulosa. Disinfectant. That's specific. Disinfectant is the answer. Okay? But would I have got that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> So A something is term used to describe two microorganisms growing in an environment where one microorganism benefits from the relationship, but the other microorganism neither harm nor benefit from the relationship. Commensal. Huh? Commensal. Commensalism. Why is this hard? Is commensal okay? Because I think that's actually Commensal is fine. But what? it's really commensalism. Okay. It's a process. Okay, here we go. This is one of those one of those problems you're gonna have using the using the population formula. Okay. That was the first thing we did that unit, right? Mm -hmm. okay. If an egg salad sandwich sitting in a warm car for three hours develops 10,000 salmonella cells, how many more salmonella cells will result in just one more hour of being in the car? Hint, the salmonella generation period is 20 minutes. 80,000. That is correct. How did you know that? I did it by three generations. The answer okay. is 80, You did that math way too quick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the answer is 80,000. Can 000. you show us the formula on the board real quick? Okay. There it is. <laughs> 10, but you said this would be acceptable, though, right? Because I, I, I've got that circle. If you answer that, because like 80, 000, that I mean, she's going to do it like that. If, if that you that. answer it that way, that is correct. But if you say 80,000, it better be correct. It, you better do the math correct. And so that's 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 10,000 is 80,000. And that's correct. And the 3 
comes from because of the three hours or because of the 20 minutes three times hours. 60. The, the, but the, five, three, five. the three hours is something to just get in the way of you thinking about stuff. The three is, the three is generation. The three has already happened. It's the three hours has already happened. Okay, so After three there. hours, you have 10,000 cells. That's your initial. So the three hours is just something to confuse you because I'm checking on your total knowledge. Well, well because to get the generation time, you have to like times it. Well, but the generation time is 20 minutes. So there's- Well, yeah, but you need to get the 20- After one hour. Three generations in one hour, every 20 minutes. So there's three 20 minutes in an hour. There's 60 minutes in an hour. That's times how many- Times three. No, divided by Oh, because we're only doing the one divided hour. Divided by 20 is yes. three. Okay. 20. 20. I'm gonna, I'm, you're gonna get confused, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> you're gonna like y'all squirming. Huh? Adult man. Wait, does everybody get that? Does everybody no, see? No, I, I, she gets it quickly. I, I, I'm trying Well, she to got it like, I don't know, that was like the fastest. That was like point five seconds. That was like seconds. the fastest time anybody's ever done that. So, in, <laughs> just look, watch, listen. Okay. In an egg salad sandwich sitting in a warm car for three hours, and it develops 10,000. So the three hours is gone. Okay. After three hours, you have 10,000 cells. So that's your initial population. That's your initial population, right? Mm -hmm. And then it says, how many more cells would result with just one more hour of being in the car? So now you're looking at one more hour. So you have 10,000 as the initial, so but you have oh, one more hour. And the generation of it's salmonella is 20 it's minutes, it's therefore, 60 minutes equals one hour, and 60 divided by 20 is three, therefore you have three generations. There we go. Every 20 minutes it doubles. <laughs> the two. Oh, the two the binary is a concept for binary vision. So a generation is 20 minutes. Because I gave you that. It's right there. Oh. And that's because of gram negative? negative? It's because it's gram negative. It would have been gram positive in 30 minutes. So that's during the you first You know this is not the question you're going to get. You're going to get something like it. But during you're not going to get this question. During the second 20 minutes, it's 40,000. Okay. Right, Abs? In the third 20 minutes, it's 80. Because it doubles is every 20 minutes. Is this helpful or are we just wasting our time? No, it's helpful. It's helpful. Divided by 20 minutes. Annabelle, is helpful? Three. If Annabelle yeah. says it's helpful, it's helpful because she's she always knows everything. So. Okay, here we go. Describe how an amphiphatic detergent or soap can be used as a chemical control agent, but instead is used only as a mechanical control agent. Because the polar end is attracted to the H2O, and then the non-polar end is attracted. Wait, what, what are you asking? Keep going, keep going. Oh, and then the non-polar end is attracted to the grime or dirt or whatever you're trying to get rid of, and so it just takes it off, and it's just mechanical, removes it. That is perfect. Okay? Everybody good? Can you say that one more time? Yeah. <laughs> what? <Sorry about> <laughs> good, but, no, okay. <laughs> but the, so the polar end is um, attracted to the water part and then the non-polar end of the amphiphatic detergent soap. And then the non-polar end is attracted to the grime and or whatever you're trying to remove. So it just removes it and it doesn't kill it. It just removes it off of whatever. And takes your hand. it with it. Yeah, it yeah. takes all the stuff with it. I couldn't have said it better. Does amphiphatic have a meaning? Yes. Means amphiphatic, anything that's amphiphatic has a polar and a non-polar end. Okay. Oh, okay. The pole, like Alicia said, the polar end is attracted to water because water is polar. The non-polar end is attracted to every, everything else that's on your body. Grease, grime, bacteria, everything else. And it encapsulates it. And so when you rinse it off, the water pulls everything off your body. And you, have you ever had that squeaky clean where you go like this and your, and your skin goes, <laughs> you know, never done that. Okay, here we go. Only look here. Yes. Um, so I know she explained it. How would you answer that if you're writing it out? Just like that. Amphiphatic has a polar and a non-polar end. The non-polar end is attracted to all the grease, grime, the bacteria that are on the skin. The polar end is attracted to water. When you put the soap on the body, it, it removes everything and encapsulates it, but then it's pulled away from the body by water. Done. You know it's not going to be an exact question, but it's going to be something like it. Yes? Yes. Okay. Looky here. This is an invaluable, ooh, this is one of my favorites. Look at this thing. So I've given you some data, right? I've given you 
if you're comparing chlorine versus ethyl alcohol, right? And so if you look at the concentration versus time, right, of the two, right? The qu first question is, why would chlorine be considered more effective antimicrobial agent than ethyl alcohol? And Al you'd say? Alcohol is just good for viruses. Okay, but that's not, but that's not answering the question. That's true, but it's not answering the question. It has a, um, is it has a, or no. like a longer like, contact time. But does it? Well, because alcohol has... Uh... Alcohol is, here, if you look at the two top ones, two minutes and 10 minutes. Oh, it's an oxidizer. It is true. Now, you could go that way, but that means you have to have a lot of knowledge about what you're about to talk about. Oh, God, I don't want to do There's that. There's an easier <laughs> way to do this. There's a, you could go that way. You could say that you could say that chlorine is a halogen. It's a strong oxidizer. It kills everything in seconds. You could go that way. And that's it? That would be a good sentence? That would be it. All right. But there's a way you can look at it just here, right? What is the concentration of the chlorine? I it's very, it's very, yes, it does. Where does it say? 50 per million. Oh, I don't see that. Right? But that's where it says the bacterium. Oh, the oh I don't know what EPM means. What's that, Spence? The, <laughs> the agent. Below it, so that's why I didn't know that chlorine. The agent is chlorine. The organism they're killing is mycobacterium tuberculosis and to amoeba cyst and hepatitis A. So why is it 50 ppm for? That's chlorine. how much it requires that's the to kill it. So what is it? Not all of it mean? though. Part per million. Part per million. Yeah. But not all of them because yeah. the other one's point one. That's three. a tenth of a drop. Oh, and less concentration is more effective. That's what you need to have. That's how you answer it. You say, because the chlorine is more effective at a less concentration. And we never use that low a concentration. We only use 10% bleach. So our bleach or chlorine would knock these things out in seconds. Done. That's how you get there. Okay. Yep. So you said less concentration is more effective? No. In this case, if you look at this, and if you, if you compare, just look at tuberculosis, which tuberculosis is really hard to kill out, right? right? But look at the concentration, it's 50 ppm. That's 50 drops in one liter of water, okay. right? That's a lot. Okay. And 50 seconds, it kills TB. Right. I bet the protozoasis were hard to get. They're hard to kill, but look at the ppm. One tenth of a drop. Then why are they so hard to kill? Because they have a protective covering. Capsule. Not a capsule, not a capsule, but as a protective covering. Why, why can't you just put more? You could, but that would make the that would make the question so easy to answer. I want it to be challenging, don't you? No. <laughs> Abs, I'm gonna make you a superstar. You just have to believe that in yourself first, and then in me. Okay. Let's look at the second question. Using the above table, the contact time using alcohol necessary, oh, explain the contact time necessary to kill, gram, to control gram positive, gram negative bacteria, right? Well, gram negative has the LPS layer and it's more attracted to the fatty outside. And therefore what? It's fast, easier to kill. Done, that's a perfect answer. <laughs> the other way to do it is Gram positives take 10 minutes according to this chart, and gram negatives take two minutes. Right? So we can just base this question all off the chart. and it's like That's what the chart is there for, for you. Yeah. But, but if you've got other knowledge, you can use that other knowledge, and if you get to the same type of response that I'm looking for, then that's okay. So we might not even have that question. You might not. Yeah. You <laughs> might have something similar to it. You never know. He's stressing out. Why? No, no, it's just a Any questions? Let's go on. Oh, looky here. Bunch of matching. Oh, oh. I didn't see the answers are right there. Oh, oh God. What do you mean, oh, God? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. 13 oh, God. Up. Okay, thymine. Which one matches thymine? Um. Uh, D. D is correct. A oh, DNA, a DNA nucleotide. Wrong. Thymine is not found in RNA. Let's go next. Ligase. What does ligase do? It, it brings the strands back together. AD. 
Oh, okay. Attaches DNA fragments of the lagging strand. You don't get to use your own interpretation of this. You well, have to, I don't know. What's there? <laughs> it takes me a minute to read. Number eight, bacterial DNA. E, no, thank you playing. B? No, thank you playing. Which one? Who said it? Somebody said it. What did you say? AC. That's correct. One chromosome. Let's go to the next one. Semi conservative replication. E. E is an alpha. E. Parent DNA strand uses a template. That is correct. All right, let's go next one. UAA, UAG, and UGA. AE. AE is correct. Protein synthesis is complete. Those are stop codons. Stop see how See how I can change all this stuff around and makes it a little more challenging? That's why you don't memorize, you have to know it. Never memorize, you have to know. All right, let's go to the next one. AB. I haven't even said it yet. Five prime <laughs> to three prime. Well, AB. AB. Direction, that's right, DNA replication direction, that is correct. All right, purine. B. Contains two nitrogenous rings, that's correct. Helicase. A. A, A unwinds DNA. Mm -hmm. Thymine diamond. B, C. B, C, UV light DNA mutation, very good. Polymerase. A, B. Uh, I'm trying to read the thing. Which one? A, B, C. A, B, DNA, nope. C. A, C, no. A, C, copies DNA molecule, that's correct. But I thought that was mRNA, copies the, the. So mRNA copies DNA in a DNA template because polymerase makes a copy of it. Now it all goes together, look at that. <laughs> okay, have you had enough or do you want more? More. Here we go. Oh, looky here. Give me a complementary strand. DNA. A T A T G. I think you get it. Now give me a complementary strand of RNA. Oh, A E G. A E G. Be able to do that. Please be able to do that. You get the paper too, right? I'll give you a code on table because it's not it's not in the review, but it's coming. Okay? Alright. Describe DNA replication that relates to the following. Leading strand, lagging strand, semi-conservative replication. Let's go with leading strand, go. Copies it from five prime to three prime. And? Continuously. Continuously. Okay. B, lagging strand. C, C prime to five prime. Nope, always has to be five prime, five prime to three Even prime. the lagging strand goes mm -hmm. that way? Even the lagging strand. Oh, I didn't But know it gets that. copied backwards. Oh, that's why that would be used. The slowest one. Discontinuous. And discontinuously, or in fragments. Why is this hard? No. <laughs> Semi-conservative replication. The parent strand and then with the uh, new strand. The parent Either strands are used to make new strands and each of the DNA molecules that's made contains one parent and one new. Done. 10 points for that, apps. Contain one what? Huh? Contain one One new strand, one old strand. Or one parent strand, one new strand. Okay, here we go. Oh, looky here. So number one, what does number one indicate? Topo isomerase. Yeah. Number five, what does number five indicate? Uh, primase. Primase, very good. Number eight, what does number eight look indicate? There's two number eights. There's an eight at the bottom and an eight at the top. Oh, is it the polymers? Oh, well, heck. Well, uh, the top eight is So let, I'm gonna make a decision here. What is this thing right here? That's an Okasaki fragment. That is fragment. an Okasaki fragment. That is correct. All right. So my A's and B's are gone. I, I think when I copied it over, it didn't it didn't take my my little symbols with it. So this strand right here is labeled A. So is that the leading or lagging strand? Leading. leading. Right. And this is the lagging. How do you know it's lagging? Because it's shortest. Because there's fragments. Okay. I like that. It's gonna be easy. Oh, looky here. Whoa. What is represented by A, Alex? MLI. Aaron. The sugar phosphate bathroom. There beautiful we go. Beautiful job. <laughs> that is a beautiful job. 
One point for everybody because Aaron made me happy today. Uh, <laughs> wait, that's good. Does our class go on point? Okay, fine. <laughs> Just join our class. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what is represented by D? D, that is a phosphate. A phosphate. Well, what does it represent? Functional group? No, think you're playing. I mean, yes, but no. It represents the five prime, five prime location. Very good. What does E represent? That's a third prime, three prime. Three prime, or it's not pointing to the hydroxyl, it's pointing to the entire structure. Oh, the third carbon? No, I, I, I it's know. just a sugar. Just a sugar. Is this deoxyribose or ribose? Deoxyribose. Yeah, why? Because it's DNA. It's double stranded. Yes? Good. All right, now let's do the hard ones. How many how many hydrogen bonds are holding together these things right here? Two. Two. That means they have to be what base pairing? AT. Mm -hmm. So G is what? G is 50 50. It's either A or a. G. It's A. It's atomy. Why? Because it's a purine. Because it's a purine. The other one has to be then T. T because pyramid. it's a pyrimidine. Yeah. Let's do the bottom one. So the bottom one, B and C, are represented by how many? By how many? Three. Three. So that means it has to be what type of bond? Q abs. So what is C then abs? I have no idea. It's either G or C. C. Cysteine. Why? Oh, I'm sorry, cytosine. Why? It has one nitrogen. It is, it is a pyrimidine. And then therefore B is? It has to be one because it's a purine. Good? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a thing. That's, that's a thing? That's initiation. <laughs> that's a thing. The that's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> so let me explain what you're looking at in case you don't know. This is a eukaryotic cell. This is the nucleus. And this, is, of course, is a ribosome, right? So in the nucleus, what's represented by this blue thing? DNA. DNA. And what's being copied from DNA? Uh, by RNA, RNA polymerase. RNA. What is it? Huh? RNA. What kind of RNA? mRNA. 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 So this is mRNA. The process, this is what this is bracketing, the process of copying D RNA from using DNA as a template is called what? mRNA. Transcription. Transcription. So then what is B? Translation. No, no, B. It's, this is done, now it's liberated, now it's gonna leave. This is mRNA, messenger RNA. So now what is the process here at the ribosome where you have the ribosome and you have this thing and you have all these things? What is that process called? RNA. No, no, process. That's the initiation No, no, process. Translation. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's represented by the little firecracky thing? Huh? Firecracker? Oh, that's adding on. Yep. So, what is it? What does TRNA? That? TRNA. Very good. What's at the base of the TRNA? Oh. The codon is in the messenger RNA. What's in the tRNA? Ribosome. No. Anticodon. Anticodon. How quickly may that get? Where is that one? It's at the base. It's at the base the of the tRNA. Well, all That's the anticodons need the, the anticodons, right? What's that? All the purple things coming out of the blue things. No, the purple things are the amino acids. Do you know how you which would be an, a codon? No, it would be an amino acid. The codon is what places the amino acid in the sequence. Okay. Yep. Spence. Um, remember when you posted the um, the picture where it showed like the Holocaust, the uh, primates? Yes. The prim Can you post this picture with the no. answers now? It's a review. These okay. are real live questions. I can't help it that everybody's like copying it right now, but I'm not going to put it online. So Spence, some of these people are really nice. I bet if you like. I'm already recording. Okay, fine. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I I can't help it that people are recording. 
because it's a review and it's your review, so I'm not going to say you can't record, but I'm not going to put this because these are really real questions that I took off of the exam last night as I was writing. You wrote 400 questions last night? So you no, I wrote 400 questions during spring break. Yeah. Last oh. night I wrote the, thanks Erin, Thank am you. I done? I like it? your backpack. Okay. That's thanks. So <laughs> good luck everybody. 7.30. I know. Or just show up at 10.30. Yeah. We'll have a different exam. We'll have a different exam. What are you, because we're doing, what is you're, my you're, class? You're, you're doing short answer. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I mean, we're doing short answer. answer. So, Because that was, that was what you would do. Short answer. Short answer. Amino acids. Amino acids. So, transcription is in there? Transcription is C. What about oh, sorry. Messenger? Transcription is A. What about messenger? That's B. MRD. And then the bottom part is anti-codons, but the purple thing are amino acids. Mm -hmm. Where's the codon? The codon is, is the red, the blue thing. What is that? <laughs> the that looks, looks like you're saying, you know, this. Yes. <laughs> the, red the codon are yeah. the little, the little, little, little red things. Yeah. It's, and then it's the blue is the start. The blue. The MET. Huh? The middle one is at MET because that codes for AEG. Oh, oh, uh, you know what I mean? Starting codon? Yeah, the starting codon. If it's AUG, then it has to be MET. Well, yeah. Methylene. Okay. Is C ribosome? The ribosome? C. No, C is the entire process that's going to be translation. What about the transcript? Well, what? Transcript. A transcript would be the same thing as a messenger RNA. Okay. I'm sorry, but what's D? The one D is a dog? That's a tRNA. So that's just a tRNA. Uh -huh. Okay. So wait, you said A was transcription. Correct. But then you said C was transcription. Translation. Or no. Translation. You said B was. B is mRNA. messenger RNA. No, that's what I thought. But okay. Spencer asked, where's the transcript? Oh. A transcript is the same thing as messenger RNA. Okay. So she's getting all technical on me. I gotta make a note, put that on the exam. No, don't do that to me. I'm I'm going through too much right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you know. No, good. don't make no emotions. No. Was this fun? No. Okay. Oh, it was fine. Was it helpful? Yes. 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 But, but it was she, fun. But you're no. a good professor, so it's just a yeah. hard class. Well, I, I mean, last night when I was putting that multiple choice thing together, I was looking at it. I'm like, oh, this is not fair. Why? Why is it not there? It's a lot of questions. But it would be 60 questions out of those 400 questions. Some people are going to get an easy test, some people are going to get a hard one. Because they're all different. So you're just, how do you do that? Do you have a machine that just spits out 20 tests with all the questions? The, cool. the respondent does it for me. I tell it, give it so many of, you want to see how it's set up? I'll show you. Well, how do I know if I get the easy one? No, you're not going to know. <laughs> you're not going to know. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Is that randomized? It's randomised. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you done with your review, Professor? No, yes, but I'm going to show you.